Hi, Barbara. Probably the, the easiest way, I guess, would be just to go to our main website, hit the website plugins, and then scroll down. And we have the content wizard right here. There's a bit of a learn more. It tells you more. I mean, there is an online example. It's It, it works okay, uh, the online demo. Um, it actually works better in the live, but uh, here's a quick example. If you do the view demo, um, you can do sort of a go to the this this basically this is for you. It creates a snippet of code, it gets pasted in the page, and boom, whatever you want to go into uh, that con whatever content you want to go in there. Anyways, the administrative area. This is more of the what the what the end user would be going. They'd be going to their content wizard and create or manage right and then they can go oh i want to uh you know uh, edit my about or my product description they want to edit that and then there is a tiny mce editor that sort of goes and you can put whatever basically whatever content they put in here they hit update it automatically updates on the site and there is a little wizard in here and i do believe that the one we have in the um template has been updated as a matter of fact or the actual one which um, I'm going to show you right here actually it's right here see the editor here there's a, a bigger editor I believe that they have access to a lot more tools basically it's like working with a word document online really that's that's sort of the way it uh, it works they get a editing panel whatever they put on here um, they hit save and it automatically updates and that may be the best way to describe it is here's a screenshot of the editing window it's very much like working in a word document um, whatever content you put in right you hit save boom and that whatever section of the page is updated content wizard is fantastic for any content within the page um, if they want to update anything that, that is a library component that is best done through the web editor although I have seen people because it's, it's basically just straight HTML right you're taping it taking a snippet of code and you're popping it into and having it replaced in the page right so it is I have seen people update news viewers and news tickers and other library elements uh, but it is definitely better to um, it really it was designed for updating content within the page itself right so updating I, I recommend that uh, any library component such as a menu bar, an image slider, and that sort of thing, that gets updated through the editor. If you want to update the content, that's really what this is for. It's a content wizard, right, for the content, the main content of the page itself. Um, and it was actually designed based on uh, some of our developer requests and feedback where um, the, the client wanted to update the site on a regular basis. Um, but they just wanted to update the content. They didn't want to know how to learn a, to work with a web editor or change pictures or anything else, like change pictures in the sliders and whatnot, I'm saying. Um, but they just wanted to update the content within the page on a regular basis, chain, you know, and that's what this was created for, was for developers who have clients who want to do that. And maybe this will be the tool.